1943. Detailed information from the Manhattan Project was stolen from Los Alamos by the Russian spy known as Perseus. 1968, Vietnam War. Viet Cong soldiers orchestrated by Perseus attempted to steal an American-made nuclear bomb from a U.S. firebase. Five days ago, while on a mission, we acquired intel that Perseus is in play again and planning an attack on the West. Perseus. The CIA's analysts consider him to be the single largest threat to the free world. Mr. Hudson, we're all aware of Perseus. We're also aware he's more myth than fact. I mean, personally, I think he's nothing more than the Russian boogeyman. General Haig, allow me to introduce the man I suited to respond to that. CIA clandestine special officer, Russell Adler. He's one of the few people who even come close to capturing Perseus. Uh, Mr. Adler, why should we take this Perseus threat seriously? You don't have to, sir. <laughs> yeah, then a lot of innocent people are gonna die. Why do you say that? Sir, every time Perseus has come into play, it's shifted the balance of the Cold War. After 13 years of silence, if he's active, something big is gonna happen. Something that will affect the free world. Sir, sir, Mr. President. Sir. Mr. President. Mr. President, this is Jason Hudson and Russell Adams. I know their names. Who do you think approved their last mission? Is the threat real? Yes, sir, we believe it is. Can you stop Perseus? We can, sir. I've already submitted the requisition for my team. Sir, their requests are highly irregular, most likely illegal. If the press gets a hold... What the hell are you talking about? You know who we are? Every mission we go on is illegal. Sergeant Woods. Plausible deniability is the backbone of our work. Al, we're talking about preventing an attack on the free men and women of the world. Give Mr. Adler whatever he wants. Gentlemen, you've been given an important task. Protecting our very way of life from a great evil. There is no higher duty. There is no higher honor. And while few people will know of your struggles, rest assured, the entire free world will benefit. I know you won't fail us. This is Hudson. How long until we have a lead on Perseus? They're about to get started. Adler's in West Berlin. He should be at the safe house soon. Do you trust him? <laughs> I'm not the one you should be asking, Black. What about his team? It's a strong group. He chased down Sims, Azalea, even pulled some strings to get Helen Park from MI6. We'll get them Mason and Woods soon. I'm not so sure about Park. She and Adler have that business from before. Of course he wants her there. And the new one. Well, well, don't get me started. That's the one we need to keep our eyes on. Bell, Berlin. We've got a job to do. Mark. Adler. Bell. Let's get started. There's been a surge in Russian chatter in the last 48 hours. The CIA and the DOD have tapped their inside sources for anything substantial. So far, there are no leads on Perseus. MI6 has come up empty-handed as well. And we'll have to start somewhere. So we're going back here. Vietnam, 1968. One of our closest encounters with Perseus. Shit. Some part of me always knew that mission wasn't done with us. Pull up everything we've got on the attack in Da Nang and run it past Park. She'll cross-reference it with MI6. We're looking for code names, encrypted transmission, Russian activity with NVA, anything that could be a lead. Good. Bell, this is where you come in. 
We needed the best of the CIA and SOG. That's exactly why I requested you again. Head to the evidence board. We'll retrace our steps through Dene. Anything that could give us a lead on Perseus. All right, Bell. We're going back to Vietnam. First time Perseus pinged our radar. It was late January 68. We were a joint CIA SOG task force embedded within the 3rd Marine Regiment near Da Nang. SOG was there to sniff out Soviet activity. And word had it Russian operatives were active in the region. Perseus had no known presence in Vietnam. That changed at Da Nang. Somehow Perseus knew about Operation Fracture Jaw. Fracture Jaw? That one sure went sideways. We launched out of Camp Haskins. Yeah, I'll never forget that shit. Old. Good. We want those memories. No details too small. A face, a name. We're looking for anything that can lead us to Perseus. This feels like looking for a needle in a haystack. In a field of haystacks. Maybe, but that needle's somewhere. Remember, we had a job to do. Fracture jaw. That one sure went sideways. Bell, it's time to wake up. It's crank time. Welcome to another day in the life of Camp Haskins, our little oasis in the middle of this godforsaken shitstorm. You're pretty safe here. Hey, Butcher. How's the arm? Still hurts like hell, but at least I can move it. Sims, you know, reading that shit's gonna make you go blind. Yep. That's why I want it all up here. Belt, you're with Sims. You usually bring out the best in each other. We got a new assignment. FOB4 Ripcord is holding the vital asset. Charlie wants real bad. What kind of asset are we talking about? The kind you don't ask about. Ripcord has been taking a hell of a beating. So it's our job to secure the asset and get the fuck out. Relax, we got fast flyers providing combat air support for this mission. It'll be a walk in the park. Headsets on. All birds check in when ready. Badger Niner 1, good to go. Badger Niner 2, clear to go. Badger Niner 3, rotors up. All birds, go, go, go. Crank up and pull pitch. All birds are in the air. You all sitting comfortably? Oh, man, Adler. Why do I get the feeling you about to give us some bad news? Because you're a smart guy, Sims. But the news isn't bad. In fact, it could be very, very good. The asset of Ripcord is going to have to wait a little while. We're breaking off from the Armada, taking a detour. And that's good because... A source tipped us off that there may be a heavy hitter in town. A Soviet operative known as Perseus. Oh, shit. Appreciate the enthusiasm, Sims. If our source is right, we could be looking at an Intel gold mine. First time Perseus pinged our radar. Approaching the village now. Roger that. Moving to establish an LZ. RPG! Come to! Light him up!
12 now. You're on point. Keep pushing forward. Get close. Oh. Sam, spell. That's the building. on you, Bell. Open the door. Adler, we confirmed it. Soviets on site. You sure? Well, I'm staring at two bodies that sure as hell don't look Vietnamese to me. Bell, grab that comms log. Let's see who the fuck they've been talking to. Mission accomplished. We have the intel. Let's bug out. Good work. Hang on to that intel. We're coming in to pick you up. All right, let's go rejoin the Armada and get this fucking asset.
Watch yourselves. Roger that, Ripcord. You Adler? Mac V. Sog? Yeah, yeah, just hurry the fuck up already. Yes, sir. Thank you. Don't thank me. Thank Bell. He's the one who just snagged us a fucking phone book full of Soviet intel. Let's go. Now. Godspeed, Commander. A fucking nuke? Are you fucking kidding me, Adler? It's a fail save. That's all you need to know. Keep that desk already. Not yet. new. We can call this a success, Sims. At least the nuke didn't go off. More importantly, we got intel on Perseus. I told you we had a job to do. It ain't done yet, not by... Yeah. How did the memory exercise go? Well, to hear it from Adler, it's working. Bell remembered finding that encrypted intel in Vietnam and has almost finished decoding it. Anything useful in there? Some names, apparently. Possible leads. Park is trying to connect the dots. We don't have much time. Does the team know about our mishap in Berlin yet? No, but if it's connected to one of those names from Bell, they'll find out soon enough. You won't let that happen, Hudson. Don't say anything more than necessary. That's never been a problem for me. 